Hi guys. It is a gloomy, soon to be stormy day here in the end times in paradise, the Catskill Mountains, where uh, I have had the pleasure, I guess, of uh, helping this very nice woman move all of her stuff around, moving stuff around. Imagine that here on this gloomy Wednesday, August 28, 2019. And somehow while we were talking and I was trying to explain to her how I uh, went from being a six-figure uh, per year successful real estate uh, living in a beautiful home to pretty much being a homeless vagabond uh, living in the back of my truck, I said, well, I met this fellow named Terrence McKenna in the year in 2008 well I met him on YouTube and the guy destroyed my life and turned me into a uh, a homeless vagabond and a doomsday prophet and she said oh you're a fan of Terrence and she starts talking about how she and Terrence McKenna used to be good friends way back in the day in the early 1980s that she was running with Terrence and uh, Timothy Leary and the whole gang. And anyway, she starts pawing through a box and she pulls out, unbelievably, this treasure trove of uh, what this is. Well, it's supposed to be seven. Unfortunately, she's lost one of these. And these are from 1983. These are a bunch of cassette tapes from 1983, mostly recorded at the Esalen Institute in Big Sur, California. And so anyway, uh, we were talking and she mentioned that she is willing to part with these. She's a little low on funds. And she said, if there's anybody out there, you know, in your little YouTube family, that might be interested in this unbelievable collector's item. So these are, now she doesn't know and I don't know either, you might be able to find some, you might be able to find none of these, some of these, or all of these already posted on YouTube. I don't know. Uh, I haven't done the research and neither has she, but what these are, are <coughs> first edition copyright 1983 cassette tapes and six of the seven of them are uh, still she says working just fine and so I'm just going to read you a quick uh, description of the tapes and if anybody wants to find out more of these and make an offer on them uh, unfortunately we have lost tryptamine hallucinogens and consciousness that is too bad but we still have new and old maps of hyperspace a country ramble through psychedelicized human history from the first bite to the last word yes UFOs and what they can tell us about the after-death state and the shamanic trance induced by plant hallucinogens from the theme of Terence McKenna's 1982 annual lecture to the Institute for the Study of Consciousness in Berkeley. All right, and so next we have Psilocybin and the Sands of Time. This is a 1982 interview with the European edition of Psychology Today held at Esalen Institute in Big Sur. Uh, more about psilocybin as the vehicle of extraterrestrial contact. Discussion, you know, from 1982, uh, this is to Terence discussing the current culture crisis and its necessary resolution in apocalypse or millennium, urging a new effort to investigate the content of the psychedelic experience into the operating worldview. 
All right, next we have UFOs, Deceivers, or Saviors. This is Terence's review of Jacques Vallee's book, The Messengers of Deception. Uh, this talk addresses the idea uh, whether the UFO phenomenon is something introduced by a secret human conspiracy for the devious control of human culture, or could it be the signaling of the end of history when man will come face to face with the other, thereby introducing a new age of becoming? And then we have the Voynich Manuscript. I think I may have heard this one on YouTube, uh, where Terence discusses the facts of the matter in relation to the world's most mysterious, undeciphered manuscript. He then goes on to suggest his own partial unraveling of the circumstances surrounding the Voynich Manuscript and continues from there to use the unread book as a stepping stone to even stranger ideas. And then we have a bonus, uh, a bonus tape recorded by his, uh, by his brother Dennis McKenna from 1981 where Dennis recorded uh, ayahuasca shaman uh, Don Fidel Mozambique uh, with his ayahuasca songs from Peru. So if you or your friends are planning an ayahuasca party and you need some genuine Peruvian shaman Icaros in the background to help you on your journey, uh, this should be an excellent source. So anyway, it is starting to rain. I got to wrap this up. So if anybody out there, for whatever reason, would like to be the owner of this treasure trove of uh, Terrence McKenna memorabilia from, uh, good Lord, 90, from 36 years ago, or is it 46, 36 years ago, uh, let's see, 93, uh, three, yeah, 36 years ago, just email me at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com and just say you're interested in the Terrence tapes and make an offer and we will get these to you. Get out there and enjoy all of the Terrence McKenna uh, interviews you can here on uh, YouTube before Terrence is shut down by the cop bots. Bye guys.